Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing functions in C++. In previous video, we have seen one coding exercise uh, based on uh, function overloading, right? So till now we have discussed basics of function, right? Then call by value, call by reference, or we can say pass by value, pass by reference, and then function overloading, right? And based on that, we have discussed two coding exercises as well. I mean, not two, actually it was four coding exercises, right? Now. In this video, we'll be discussing how to pass arrays to a function, right? It's not that we'll simply pass some variables or those integer variables or float variables. That is it. No. When you will be actually working on projects, you need to pass arrays, vectors, even functions to a function and many different kind of things, right? So same we'll see in this video, how to pass arrays to a function. Now let's see how to pass arrays to a function, right? Now to understand this thing, first you need to understand like what is an array, the basic point. So if I write something like this. So if I say I have an array of integer and size is 4, like this, suppose this is the value I have in this array 1, minus 1, 0 and 10. So if I say ARR, the array name, it will store what? The base address of this array. Base address means the address of the first element of the array. Suppose memory uh, has been allocated to this this array and the starting location is suppose 1000 or 100 so each array element will take like its integer type so it will take four bytes so like 104 then 108 and 112 so element of first address is 100 or the base address of this array is 100 so this arr will, will store 100 so it is going to point the first element this you need to remember right array name is it's like a internal pointer by default it will store the base address of the array right so if you simply print arr like it will store it will print the address of the first element that is 100 and if you want to access what is the value then obviously that is a different concept we have discussed this thing uh, with the help of when we're discussing like uh, arrays in c++ you can refer those things but this you need to remember for this Second thing you need to remember is we have discussed two things call by value and call by reference or pass by value and pass by reference right in call by value one copy of the elements or the arguments would be passed to the function I mean the definition of the function right and in pass by reference pass by reference we can achieve with a uh, so reference variable or a or using pointers so their actual elements would be passed right not the copy of the elements actual elements actual arguments would be passed right so you can watch out that video i'll uh, link that video in the side button call by value and call by reference right now while you are passing arrays to a function then arrays would be passed by reference by default not passed by value or you can say call by reference not call by value right so let me just show you this thing practically with the help of program so let's create a new file and and let's take now we will take a array first it is a type of array A and let's initialize it here only. Suppose I want only five element in my array. Right. Now we'll define a function. Suppose we sim uh, simply uh, we define a function print array to print that array. Right. Now print array is a function. Let's before calling let's uh, declare that function first. So return type is void and the name of the function is print array and we pass an array as an argument right so what it is going to expect an array so int a something like this this is an array or if you don't take this name of the, that array in declaration this is also fine int and that, that that's a symbol though, though subscript symbol it will tell that uh, it is going to receive an array right okay fine now print array and how to pass an array to a function just write down the name of array that's it so arr no need to you know put the, these subscript here this operator no right just simple name of that array when you are passing array to a function that's it right okay now obviously we'll define that function right so print array and it will take an array as an argument so here you need to write down the name of that array also in function definition in function declaration it is optional 
right okay now if you want to print an array so what do you think if i pass arr then maybe you think that this whole array would be passed here 1 2 3 4 5 means now in a we have 1 2 3 4 5 right and we can say print this but that is not a case let me just show you this thing practically while we are passing this arr in arr i have told you this array name stores address of the first element of the array base address so the example we have seen in theory part before discussing this we have taken address of suppose first element is 100 so in arr we have 100 so 100 would be passed so here this a this a is functioning as a pointer it's not a complete array it's a pointer it is containing 100 only right if you're not getting my point let me just show you okay first let's print now it's your quiz question size of arr so what it will print pause the video and let me know size of arr what it should print let's run this and it should print 20 so see it is printing 20 because here we have five elements each int is of four bytes so 20 bytes right now if you want to find out the size of this array then we generally do what we can do something like this size of arr divide by size of the one element of this array you can say the first element of the array or you can say size of simply int because all elements are of int type so size of int is 4 size of arr is 20 so it will give you size of this array I means size of array means how many elements in this area so it will give you five now it will give you five okay that's exactly what we want five elements right now here if i want to print like c out size of a what do you think what it will print what it should print size of a maybe you think if you are passing arr means the complete array would be passed so size of a would also be 20 right let's run this and see it's okay uh, let me just run this again and show you so first it was four five the size see this size it is printing i mean see out this is it is printing first obviously it would be 5 and then it is calling the function and then size of a size of a it is printing 4 only and see the uh, that warning it's not error it's a warning like size of an array function parameter a will return size of int asterisk it will return size of int asterisk int asterisk means it will return size of a pointer not the complete array right here so now you got it here a is acting as a pointer not a complete array that is why size of pointer is its pointer is pointing to int type or we can say a size of pointer is 4 right but it depends actually whether you are using 32 bit machine or 64 bit, bit machine in some machines it is taking 8 bytes also so the size of pointer is 4 bytes in my case right so it's not a complete array here a it's just a pointer right so one thing you need to pass here one more thing that is so how to print how to print all the, these elements in this print array in this function we need size of this array means how many elements in this area right so you need to pass the size as well the length of that array so arr and one more variable we pass suppose size right and let's just calculate size here and size is equal to using this we can calculate the size right and then size we can pass or maybe directly you can write down here 5 right if you don't want to calculate the size because here we know only 5 elements are there in this array right or you can take here a global variable right size of array would be 5 and that variable we can use here rather than passing here size because if the a variable is global like something like this we have int size is equal to 5 so this is global variable size 
we can use this variable throughout the program in any function so within this function also within the, this function also you don't need to pass here this separately size right but we are not taking here global variable we pass here the variable size okay but now we are passing two arguments so obviously you should change the prototype or the declaration of the function one hint one more hint size right now let's print the array how to print let's use a obviously with for loop we are going to print 0 to i less than whatever size we have passed sorry whatever size we have passed and then i plus plus and simply in c out we print a of i from space right let's run this and i'll show you now the output okay we have selected the crr so, okay we have you should put a semicolon here sorry here we have a comma but here we should have a semicolon right in for loop see one two three four five right so we are just passing an array as an argument in function right so not the whole array is to be passed it is passed by reference so the address of the first element would be passed right now we are passing address of that array means we can anyone can modify the actual elements right because we are passing the location right so now what to do if suppose if suppose here i accidentally write here like a of uh, uh, 1 is equal to 56 right so see ideally print array would only print should only print the elements of the array it shouldn't alter any element right in the actual array right we don't want like to give this access to anyone that it can the i mean not anyone to print function especially that it can modify our actual elements right but it's a you can say it's kind of weakness or hamari majburi hai ki array when we are passing array in a function then actual i mean the address of this array would be passed so this function can access the actual data right but we don't want that this function should modify our array element right but accidentally now it is modifying so it should give error but it should it should not give any error it will not give any error to us let me just show you this thing if after print array again i call print array arr and whatever the size we are passing right so let's run this 1 2 3 4 5 1 56 3 4 5 or after this let's put a end or slash in. now we will get it better so first print array will print 1 2 3 4 5 next is printing 1 56 3 4 5 because we have modified this thing here but this thing we don't want it should give an error if some someone is trying to modify this in print array so what we can do is we can just put here const right in print array this array the parameter should be constant const int a now if so if someone will try to modify here then it will give error let me show you see assignment of read only location the location is read only this we cannot modify it right so one solution is this we should ideally use like constant a if suppose you are using a function and you don't want to uh, you know give a permission to that function to modify the array element so you can use const in parameter right now we can use another function that is set array if you want to modify the array elements right so let's define this function set array here So same it will accept like int a and the length or the size of that array and uh, like for int i is equal to 0 and i less than whatever the size of that array i plus plus and how to modify a of i.
is equal to a of phi. Suppose in each element I will add phi. Right? And after print array, just call this set array and pass ARR and then the size. Right? After set array, we are again calling print array. So let's see what it will print. First, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Shift R. It should be semicolon. Same mistake again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then add 5 to every element and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I hope you got this. And obviously, we want that the set array should modify the array element. So, no need to write down here const. Obviously, we will not write down here const. Okay. Now, you got it. What drawback can be there if you are passing array in a function? Right? You are passing actual data. I mean, the size or the, the location or the address of that array. So, anyone can modify it. Or to restrict this thing, you can use const in parameter. Const parameter. Right? Or one thing we can do, like if you don't want to pass here int size, so a fixed size array we can pass, like here we can write down int 5. Like here we know obviously the size of array is 5, so we can simply write here 5, no need to write down here int size. Okay. And here we directly write down rather than size 5. But those static type of things doesn't look good, right? It is looking good actually. So this is how we can pass arrays to a function, right? Let me just try run this thing or the let me just show you the working of this thing actually on the board. If you got it, it's okay. You can just stop the video here. But if you didn't get it, you can continue watching. So let's see. I haven't written the complete code here. Don't comment like it will not run. It, it is giving error. So yeah, I know it will give error. It will not run because it is not complete code, right? Okay. Now something, uh, some points we ha I have written here that I want to, you know, uh, discuss with you guys. So here we have an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have an array and so in ARR we have suppose the base address first is 100 and when, when, wait, no, two, one, two, six, five. so here we have 100, the base address, ARR will store 100, right? Now we are calling print array, we are passing ARR and size. So this 100 would be passed here and size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 would be passed, right? So here we have an array A, it's not an array, it's like a pointer. So now in A we have 100, so 100 is to be passed. So now A is pointing to here, right? So basically we are actually, we are actually uh, you know, accessing the original content or the, other, or the actual array, right? Now in i is equal to 0, i less than size, size is 5. Condition true, enter here A of i. A is 100, means A of i means, it means A, A plus i. And here we have asterisk if we expand this. So 100 plus 0 and this asterisk means if this is in direction operator means it will fetch the value. This operator is uh, help to fetch value at this address. So at 100 we have 1. So it will fetch 1. So 1 would be printed. Right. Then again i is first to a 0 then i plus plus i becomes 1 condition true then again a o i a o 1. So 100 plus a o 1. 1 means this is address. So 1 means and type is int, so 4 byte would be added, not 1, it's not 101, it means next element, so 104, here 1 means 4 would be added, the size of that you can say uh, element, so at 104 we have 2, so 2 would be accessed here, like this, right, now set array, again same, here we are passing the address A, we have 100, like, right, and size is 5, so L first 0, size is 5, condition true, enter here, A of 5, A of 0, A of 0 is this, A of 0 plus A of 5 plus 1, like A of 0 plus 5. So here we will add, directly here we will add 5, so it, it will become 6. Now it will become 7 and 8, 9, 10, something like this. So the original array would be modified here. Right? And after that, again, if you will print, if you will call this print array, then this would be the answer. Right? So I hope you got this. In the next video, we'll see one coding exercise based on this arrays, how to pass arrays in a function. Right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.